Well, good morning. Not sure how this is going to work. I'm just outside the uh, Wi-Fi range from the extender in the barn, but I'm showing LTE right now. So I'm standing out here in the rain, getting soaking wet. Uh, <laughs> I'd come out this morning and chop down a couple of gumball trees. I don't know what you call them. I don't know what the uh, hey suburban. I don't know what the official name of this kind of tree is. We call them gumball trees. There's a good picture of the limb right there. I don't forgot. I know the name of them. I said I didn't know. I do know. I just can't remember what it is right now. But we, like I said, we call them gumball. They make those spiky looking round balls that you don't want to step on when you're barefooted. All right, I'm showing very bad connection. Dog on it. I hope this will hang on. I hope you guys can see me. But uh, the goats are loving it. They love gumball leaves, and uh, these happen to be right next to some uh, muscadine-type looking vines. And uh, so they're just like, yeah, sweet gum. That's right. Doggone it. <laughs> uh, sweet gum. That's it. But uh, they are just like, it's like crack to them. Sweet gum leaves are like crack. So I'm not going to be here long because it's raining, and I'm wet. My iPhone is in a OtterBox waterproof carrier, water-resistant carrier. So, uh, oh, really? Two angels? That's good. I didn't know that. I'll have to uh, keep that in mind when we try to try again to do our own shiitake log. I've got the one we bought from you guys. Is uh, I've got it out under a shade tree, exposed to the rain. And luckily, we've had enough rain. I hope I don't have to soak it or water it i need to see how heavy it is right now and we're waiting on the second flush from our blue oyster bag um, we only had that when we flushed it only had that one cluster uh, so i'm hoping maybe a second flush will be crazy all over the bag we'll see got a few little pigs decided to come join the uh the foray out here of course the pigs don't mind the rain a bit if it gets to rain, right now it's just sprinkling. If it comes a good little shower, the goats are going to hightail it. Um, thanks, two angels. Uh, I read the instructions. <laughs> oh, something just bit the fire out of me. I hope it was a... I uh, hope it was a... Uh... Well, it hadn't, it hadn't been quite two weeks, two angels. You think I should go ahead and do that now? Um, I, I noticed in the instructions it said if it hadn't flushed again in two weeks... To put it in the fridge for 24 hours, uh, it hadn't been, it hasn't been two weeks. Should I go ahead and do that now, or wait for the two weeks and see what happens? I can see the you know lots of more white mycelium spreading uh, inside the bag, and so you know it, it looks to me like things are happening. It just hadn't poked out yet. But if you think I need to put it in there for 24 hours, I can go ahead and do that now, as soon as I sign up. Okay, wait a few. That'll work. I'll do that. So, anyway, I just thought you guys might enjoy seeing the crackheads, I mean the goats, uh, enjoying the fresh cut uh, greens. Hey, Carla. We're so excited that uh, we've had a couple of, those of you who watched Patty's cinnamon roll video that we were supposed to have had out a long time ago and we finally did, uh, Pam Peoples was the first one to make some cinnamon rolls using Patty's recipe and she followed my instructions and, and posted a photo of her gorgeous cinnamon rolls at facebook.com slash alderman farms and uh, they looked amazing and so we've got several others who said they were going to try and so I'm hoping they'll send us photos too we love to brag on you guys publicly when you do something like that and uh we love it when you send us beautiful pictures of your gorgeous breads and cinnamon rolls and things like that. So check us out on Facebook, facebook.com slash Alderman Farms. And also we've got a private group called Friends of Alderman Farms. If you can, uh, you know, if you want to be a part of that, go ahead and search for it on Facebook, Friends of Alderman Farms. And we'll, we're going to be doing more with that group, maybe doing some private uh, live video inside that group or whatnot. But uh, 
especially if you're one of our regular viewers we would love to have you in our friends of alderman farms facebook group so search that on facebook and give us a shout and uh i'll add you all right i need to uh hate nifty thrifty let me go ahead and i got very bad connection here i'm gonna go back and see if i missed any comments north, north dakota pink hey there heather russo good morning becky doyle good morning uh yeah it is it is a, it's a buffet for them this morning carla wonderful blessed life good morning nifty thrifty bits yeah it is buffering north dakota pink i'm sorry i'm outside of wi-fi range i'm out in the woods here i'm showing lte but i've only got two bars so that's that's why it's buffering i'm gonna go ahead and finish and uh patty had said we need to do a garden update our our snap beans are really growing up the cattle panel trellises and so depending on we're supposed to have weather on and off today so if we have a chance we'll do that a little later today if not here's a reminder our sunday show is moving great wonderful blessed life when i get in i'll take care of that uh, our sunday live show is moving from five central six eastern to nine eastern eight central sunday night 9 p.m. Eastern, 8 Central, Sunday night. We're going to try that for a while. Hope that helps you. It sure does help us. Thanks for joining us this morning, and we'll see you again.